So what is shuttering? It is known by many names such as formwork and centering. It is a temporary construction, kind of a mold in which concrete, in plastic state is poured to give desired shape and size to it. It should be rigid during concrete placement and should not pass concrete slurry. It can be made up various materials such as, plywood, steel, aluminum, or plastic. Plywood shuttering. Ply is easily available, can be cut into desired shape, and gives concrete work, a smooth surface. The standard thickness of a ply is 12 mm for moderate loads. An 18 mm ply can be used for heavy loads. The self, weight of ply used are 24, 30 or 34 kg. A 30 kg double film ply is most commonly used. The uses are limited minimum to 8 repetitions, however, if maintained properly it can be up to 15 times. A ply is laminated on both the side to make it water resistant and helps in cleaning. It costs approximately 600 rupees per meter square. Densified plywood has a smooth film coat. It is usually available in 2400 by 1200 millimeter sizes. Steel shuttering. These is fabricated out of steel plate of thickness 14 gauge to 16 gauge. The plates are stiffened along edges by steel angles, 25 by 25 by 5 mm. Large number of reuses, up to 100 are possible with steel plates. Most common plate size is 900 mm by 600 mm. And beam plate size is 450 by 900 mm or 230 by 900 mm. Here its main advantage is that it can be installed and dismantled easily. However, it has high initial costs and handling costs. Aluminum form work. It is highly suited for load-bearing wall construction, and large number of repetitions available such as for a residential buildings. It costs 5,500 rupees per square meter. But with 100 possible repetitions, the formwork costs lowers to 55 rupees per square meter. It is environment friendly, lightweight, requires fewer support and gives superior finish than wooden formwork. The main disadvantage of aluminum shuttering is that, it gets easily dented and is non-repairable. Shuttering Accessories Tie Rods They are used to hold the forms together. They are usually 15 or 17 mm threaded rods and finished with anti-rust coating. A rod is typically 6 m in length, and is cut to length at sight, as per requirements. Tie rods are tightened with use of wing nuts, which are strong, and have high tensile strength. Soldiers or waller. They are used with tie rods to hold the forms tightly. Props. They are used for supporting spans. They ensure fast and safe handling and are height adjustable, and parts can be replaced separately. Acro span joists. These are adjustable telescopic span with holes on both ends, to rest on wooden studs. They support slab form work, and the length of the span can be adjusted as per slab requirements. Usually, the length is adjustable to 4 to 5 meters. The table compares advantages and disadvantages of different shuttering materials. Here factors to be considered while selecting type of shuttering material are, quality of finish required, ease of handling depending upon complexity of structure, weather conditions, and overall cost investment. General criteria that governs formwork are, ease of erection and striping, quality of accuracy of shape and finish, safety of carpenters and public, and care and maintenance. It should be water resistance or watertight to hold water content in concrete. A good quality shuttering is strong and rigid, is economical, and provides a clean and smooth finish. It should be rigid and resist dead and lift loads, without any deflection. It should be able to take forces from ramming, and vibrations, and should prevent loss of cement slurry of the concrete. Now we will see stages of shuttering. There are five basic steps involved in shuttering. Propping, centering and erection. Ensure all design provisions are compiled with. All rejected or undesirable items should not be used. Second shuttering cleaning, surfacing and erection. Shuttering should be able to be safely erected. Bracing for better support. Adequate bracing, 
struts, and ties should be installed to ensure strength and stability during shattering erection and concreting operations. Concrete placement. Concrete placement is an important process in the construction that determine the success of the structure and its life. Technical and environmental conditions are taken into strict consideration while placing the concrete, stripping and dismantling. Proper guidelines should be used for dismantling or removing of the formwork. Here the shown sketch shows typical arrangement of a wall shattering. Vertical studs provide strength to ply, and prevents ply from bulging. Horizontal wallers provide support to vertical studs. Supports are tied usually to horizontal wallers. The spacing and size of all the components depends upon height and thickness of the RCC structure. The shown sketch shows typical arrangement of a slab shattering. It consists of props being pushed upwards in position, supporting joist, girders such as acro spans or beams. Finally, shattering plates or ply are fixed on top. Ensure, sequence of dismantling is properly followed. It is very important to keep the ply shuttering maintained at site. It is a critical task as overall aesthetics of the building depends on quality of form work. Ensure, ply is kept cleaned, oiled, if possible, and apply sealants such as chlorinated rubber paint to protect edges. Side screwing and nailing should not be performed on the ply. Upon the shuttering, forms should be stored in packs on a flat, dry and raised surface. Avoid mishandling, scratches, by ensuring forms are not dragged.